<laughs> Bunny rabbit. What's up, everyone? It's a Sunday afternoon, day one of our family vacation. Well, technically day two, because we got here yesterday afternoon, but the start of the full first day of our vacation. We are at a really cool uh, historic home, which I will show you later in the video. But for now, we're doing something a little different in a kayak, which I have never fished out of a kayak before until last night. Uh, went out for about an hour before it got dark. Had a little bit of luck. First little fish. <laughs> well, they ain't biggins, but they fish. Catching bait with bait. <laughs> we got us a little smallmouth. Look at that. We baby smallmouth. We got here. I think this is a creek chub, maybe, or a trout of some sort. I'm not quite sure. And now I am on the same river, but I'm actually upriver a little bit, and I am above the dam. There's a dam right there, and you might be able to see, might be able to see the house through the trees right over there. I know it's a GoPro, so it's not great, but. That's the house we're staying in, and we're right above the dam. So obviously the water is a good bit deeper up on this side. It's also moving uh, slower and a little bit more shaded, it looks like, too. So we're out here. We're going to try and have some fun and catch some fish. That's what I caught a bunch of last night. A little smaller than that, one bigger than that. Beautiful colors. Sunfish on a Senko. A pretty good size one too. Calm yourself, solid little guy. Huh? Catching some nice sunfish, if nothing else.
There we go. Got us our bass. Well, he was just running with that thing too. Nice little 10 inch Ravana River largemouth. We'll take it. Well, that was pretty sweet. I was throwing this little weightless Senko over there, right off these, uh, right off this laydown. And I felt like I never felt anything, but every time I picked the lineup, it was like two feet farther upstream from where it had been. And we did that like three different times. Never felt the thing, set the hook, and pulled it right through the top of his mouth. Perfect. Uh, this is this is fun. I don't know if it's more fun than being in a boat because being in this kayak is definitely less comfortable than being in the boat. Because you can't really, you know, I mean, I could stand up, but I'd have to stand up in the river. And uh, I don't know. It's fun though. It's fun catching small fish on a small river like this. Um, that was second fish of the day. Uh, first one was that little sunfish. So I'm having fun. This Senko is getting absolutely tore up. Is a big bite, big bite baits, five inch Senko, and it is, it is quite stout. That's for sure. Um, I don't normally throw them with the hook exposed like this. Normally I keep the hook buried in the plastic to keep it fully weedless. But I figured since I'm generally fishing for really small fish here, that having the hook exposed where it doesn't have to get through the plastic may increase my hookup ratio, even if it's just small sunfish. So it's seeming to work so far. I caught that sunfish with it buried normally and then I missed a fish on that laydown that might have been one of these bass because it felt like it was a decent fish. It actually started pulling drag for a second. Uh, so that's when I exposed the hook and I'm going to go back over there real quick before I keep moving. See if I can't pull in another one. Alright, that was awesome. Got another one. He might have been a bass because he was felt big enough to be one. There's a decent sized bass over here chasing bluegill that are chasing my worm. By decent, I just mean he was probably 12 inches instead of the 10 inches that I've been catching. Oh, all right, here we go. We got a decent one here. No way! That was a legitimately good fish. That was like a two, three pounder. Son of a... Biscuit eater. That was like a real fish. Like put my fist in his head or in his mouth, real fish. Dad, gum it. That's a 
Such a bummer. Let's see if we can't get them back though. I'll go for a while and find like not a whole lot going on and then just find one random spot where there just is a bunch of fish. Seems like this is one of those holes. <laughs> Keep catching these guys all day. I think he was just holding on to the worm and didn't let go till he was in the kayak. I'm quite sure I did not actually have the hook in that one. Boy, what an adventure. Lost the one good fish that was over here, apparently. Let's go. He ain't the big one we're after, but he's a fish. And that's number five for the day, I think. Bass, that is. <laughs> Barely got him. Now that was technically back-to-back -back casts, although they weren't both bass, but that might be the first back-to-back -back ever in my life of any type. So other than like bobber fishing with bread as a kid, I'll take it. There are some. <clears throat> Donkey bluegill in here. Holy crap. She thick. <laughs> that was also a little weird. I think I I don't know if I actually had that fish to start with or if I didn't because it felt like I did and then set the hook and then there was nothing and then it felt like there was something there again and I set the hook again. I don't know. This is just too much fun though. That's what I do know. Moving on. So there are places in this river where for whatever reason it is just a lot clearer than others. You can obviously see how clear this water is. I mean, we're only a foot deep here probably right now, but sandy bottom, sandy slash rocky bottom, the water is barely moving. Like there have been times where a gentle breeze is blowing me um, what would be upstream. <clears throat> so it's not been very hard to keep the kayak. Uh, not very hard. Not been too terribly hard to keep the kayak where I want it. Although it is, you drift uh, a lot easier in a kayak than you do in an 18 and a half foot long bass boat. So that's an interesting thing to, to be learning a little bit. Um, because even like the slightest, it's hard to like orient myself perfectly right, um, both for you know sometimes just camera angles, but also just I don't have a lot of you know lateral uh, ability. I'm not standing on the front of my boat where I can kind of face whatever direction I want. So it's just a little different. But man, it is hard to beat coming out to a river like this. I mean, I've been out here for gosh three hours or so, maybe more than that. I don't actually remember. Probably closer to four hours. Sitting in this kayak, I'm sure when I go to stand up, I might like pass out and fall over because I've been sitting down so long. But this is, this is just a lot of fun. Now, it is the type of river that when it storms and it floods, it will get, I don't know, probably 10 feet higher than what it is right now. Uh, we actually saw evidence of that. There's video down by the dock um, on the property where we are staying at. There was a video the owner sent to 
sent to my dad one, at one point showing the water basically like halfway up the stairs of the little dock that he built there. And you can see the flood line on the, on the banks kind of all around. It. it is several feet higher somewhat regularly. You're not going to be able to tell on camera, but right now there is just the slightest breeze and I am getting blown that direction, which is upriver. This flow is almost non-existent. You can even see where leaves and objects near the surface of the water. Stuff is not really drifting downriver much right now. Let's go. <laughs> Catch and release. Got another one. Well, caught the notorious stick fish. Catch fish while also catching a stick. And my wife's calling, and the fish came in. And I'm getting blown into this tree. Hello. It's just ridiculous. Just threw the worm, threw all that stuff. It went down in the water. I hooked the fish, pulled it up all the way through the limbs and out, and then he jumped off. And then I hooked another one and got it all the way back to the boat before it came off. This is just ridiculous. It's crazy how long these brim, bluegill, sunfish, etc., will hold on to this thing where they, they don't have the hook, but they're just holding on to the back of the worm, back half of the worm. And I'll get them all the way to the boat before they finally let go. It's kind of crazy. All the way to the boat, all the way to the kayak. All right, back to my launch point bridge. So I think I think I'm just gonna go ahead and end this video here. I know I said at the beginning that I would basically show you more of the house and stuff where we're staying, the property where we're staying uh, later, but that's gonna end up actually being later as in later, a different day, different video. We'll probably do, maybe do a few different videos uh, on this vacation just to try to keep them maybe shorter and a little bit more, uh, organized or you know defined it's not just one big mashup of the whole thing so yeah that was uh that was quite the experience so i appreciate you guys hanging with me for this little adventure uh kayak in this little river i was i lost track of how many fish i think i caught six bass plus that really good one that i didn't land uh and somewhere between 10 and 15 you know, sunfish, bluegill, that type of thing, little pan fish. So, quite, quite a day. Yeah, let's go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and hope you enjoyed this little scenic river adventure. And come back next time for more, more content. I definitely want to show you guys the house we're staying in. It's really cool. So, till then, see you guys next time.